Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. This is gonna be a very special dip for me. Not because it's gonna be a, a showcasing some crazy color or really complicated technique, but because a lot of you guys know that I am a huge Audi enthusiast. Now, back in 2007, I was able to get my hands on a very rare model Audi, an RS6. Now, they only brought this car to the US for one year, and they did not bring very many of them. So this was like the holy grail for me as an Audi guy. Now, in 2010, I ended up selling the car, which I always regretted. It's always been the favorite car that I've ever had. I'm really happy to say that about a month ago, I was able to buy the car back from the guy that I sold it to uh, several years ago. So I've got the car. I've been really excited to dip it. I, this is not the car to do some crazy color shift on or bright yellow. I want something mean, angry. I want a stealth color on this car. Now, Hyper black graphite is a little too light for what I was looking for. Storm, storm cloud gray is a little dark, so I'm gonna go right in the middle. I'm gonna do 75% hyper black graphite, 25% black Betty, and that's gonna give me a nice, angry, stealthy uh, gray color. And I also, you know, high gloss is awesome and everyone's excited about it and it's new. However, I don't wanna use a high gloss finish on this car, I want something more in the satin range. I think that'll look a little bit angrier. So what I'm gonna do is utilize the clarity of the DYC Dip Pearl top coat, but I'm not gonna put any high gloss coats on top. So I've already got four coats of black down on the car right now. I'm gonna come in with about two or three coats of that Battleship Gray mixture in the DYC top coat, leave it there at a nice, clean satin finish. Enjoy the video. Now, here's the end result of my RS6. Now, the inspiration for this uh, color on this car is the matte Daytona gray that you see on some of the new RS6s over in Europe, and I think we hit the nail right on the head. It's mean, and it's aggressive, and it matches the personality of the car perfectly. Now, we use the DYC top coat with the pearls mixed directly into it, no gloss coats on top. We've got a beautiful, crisp, satin finish, exactly what I wanted. I know there's gonna be people out there who have the urge to just type in a comment and say, ah, you should have glossed it, bro. Well, you know what? Gloss top coats work awesome for certain projects. I didn't want it on this one. This is not me demonstrating some process for you guys. This is me as a dipper, dipping my car exactly the way I wanted it and sharing that experience with you guys. And I'm thrilled with the way that it came out. Everything you saw us use today from the pearls, the spray gun, of course, the DYC Dip Pearl top coat is available directly at dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, customer service at dipyourcar.com. And if you want a more thorough explanation and tutorial on how to do a dipping process like this, there's a link in the description below to a full step-by-step -step complete guide on how to dip your car. Let the camera go around. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's Fonzie. I'll see you on the next video.